I'm sleeping in. You too. I'm actually quite excited about the opening of the coffee shop tomorrow. You want a hot drink? Thanks, Pa. Tammy always used to have a hot drink before she slept. No, I mean, thanks for helping Jimmy. I didn't think the coffee shop would actually work out. I was so scared it was going to mess up again. I mean, um, with Aliong and everything. I never thought I'd be running a coffee shop at my age. And with my daughter. Some things are better late than never, I suppose. You know, I'm, I'm really glad we're doing this together. It's something I always dreamed about. Coming back here, seeing you, Gary and David. <laughs> Staying here with the family. I actually used to dream about what it would be like to live here with all of you. How's it been so far? Just like in my dreams, Pa. Just like in my dreams. I know you have a lot to cope with. You're a very brave woman, mate. To... To risk your life for your own child. Not everyone can do that. I'm not sure if it's courage. But you do the same if it's your child. I know I've made a mess. You don't know what you've done. I'm his right hand man. What is the big deal about being a right hand man? Uh, Susan, I don't know how to explain this except the relationship between a right hand man and his boss is delicate, fragile, full of complexities which, which you women will never understand. Mary. Yes? That's a lot of crap. Thing. It's moronic. Susan, it's very important to me to be his right-hand man because it's like being his number two man. How are you so sure you're his number two? Because I am his right-hand man. Your boss wears his watch on his right hand, right? Yes. So, it means he's left-handed. <laughs> so? So, wouldn't his left-hand man be more important to a left-handed boss? <laughs> you, you're playing with my mind, right? Maybe you're not even his number two. No. You're not even his number three. No, no, no. You're not even his number four. No. In fact, you're not even the assistant to the number four. Oh, no. 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 Guess what? Papa Rock is giving a concert here in Singapore. Wow, that's so exciting. Papa who? Papa Rock. Ramli, sorry. Lead singer of Sweet Charity. And he's giving a concert here in Singapore. Uh, not until he gets a haircut, he isn't. Ma, he's been sold to 45,000 people in Pahang. 
So? So, so it's like a big deal here in Singapore! Is it? It's like Michael Jackson coming here to give a concert! Ow! I don't get it. Let me try. Susan. Yes? It's like our Prime Minister planting a tree at our block. <laughs> and he waters the plant with your watering can. <gasps> no way! Yes way! That's more! That's more! That's more! After all that? Oh no, oh my god, he, he autographs your watering can! <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. When is he coming? Susan, it's just a story. What? <laughs> okay. I know you're kind. I know where you come from. You have no money, no career, no education, and no prospects. You are nowhere worthy of my sister. You're right. I'm not worthy of a sister. Especially when it comes to money. I can't make her rich. Look. Just spare her. And spare yourself from heartbreak. Because you and my sister will never, ever work out. Hello. You have no idea what kind of a person he is. I forbid you to see him. No. You can't tell me what to do. I have every right to tell you. No, you can't stop me from seeing him. Don't be so stubborn, okay? How can you be so blind? You have no idea about men. What makes you think you know? Michael also cared about me, okay? But Tony is different. Michael was a construction worker. He had no money, no prospects. All he had were promises of love. How is Michael different from Tony? Tony isn't married. I'm sorry. No, you're right. Michael was married. He was married when I was sleeping with him. I know. He fooled me for five years. I know. Dad. Look, this is why I have every right to tell you that there is no such thing as love, okay? There is no romance, Annie. There's just men and their lies. But you can't judge Tony because of one mistake you made with Michael. That's not fair. Fair? You want to talk to me about fair? Do you think it's fair that our parents died when we were children? Do you think it's fair that I have to stop school to run the family business? Do you think it's fair that I have to forego family and marriage just to take care of you? But that's life, isn't it? It's my duty. Annie is already seeing Simon. Simon is a rich and successful doctor. He loves her so much, he's going to bring her to England to further her music studies. Can you do that for her? Can you ever do that for my sister? What kind of a future can a gangster give my sister, huh? Tell me. Exactly. Look, if you have any decency in your heart, and if you really love her, let her go. 